So welcome to another video. This is Greater Rift level 129 and as I promised two weeks ago I'm gonna push again. I wanted to go for 130 but um, yeah it was a bit too hard so I went for 129 and right in the first attempt it yeah it's a spoiler alert. Yeah, right in the first attempt it went well yeah. So as you can see this is act one map yeah these catacombs and they are not um the best map for sure but the mob type again is pretty good and this is basically what matters um if you are curious what kind of items i have what kind of skills there's a link in the video description that shows you um yeah my entire gear and what kind of talents i use here um yeah, basically what you want to do here is you whirl around, you keep your Tego stacks up and yeah, you pull the mobs together and apply rent with whirlwind or manually and every time when you have your convention of elements up to physical, then you deal a lot of damage. So this is basically the base mechanics here and yeah, most importantly you try to avoid to die yeah you 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 don't want to die but the incoming damage is is kind of spiky with this build and you will see it again i die a lot against the rift guardian but let me explain what i do here um you see this blue pack i use my ancient spear to pull these mobs with me yeah to to keep the trash going and uh, right here i realize i had another pack this one is a yellow one and this is kind of intense you see the incoming damage my globe my health globe is going up and down and then i try to move a little bit out of the danger zone and yeah then i have to go back in again obviously my cycle is up physical damage but um yeah it's it's a little bit too much and i try to go out a bit to create some space and to make it easier to go back in again but um i think there's cc coming there was the first one and you see i don't move and i die so my my wrath of the berserker wasn't up and i wasn't immune to cc so this is something i have to take care of in the future there's a conduit i was tempted to to leave the game here when i died but i wanted to check for a pylon and the first one that came up is the conduit pylon and what you want to do here is you don't want to die at all costs. Yeah, play it safe and just nuke down this one. I have, due to my follow, I have um, a longer uptime for this pylon. Yeah, it's 100% it's increased so we have it for a while. You see I still have it and there's another pack coming. So this is basically now four packs with the first pylon with the conduit and this is pretty good this is this is really what you want uh, four packs three packs five packs this is a great number and i move on to the next floor again this is a cave map it's not idealistic but i can work with that and the mob type mm, i'm not sure it's it's not it's not perfect but it's doable yeah these ghosts they follow you they are really squishy and you only have to take care that you don't pull too many and there we got the next pylon due to the many packs we killed on the previous floor we got the next pylon here it's a power pylon and i waited a little bit to get my physical um cycle up yeah i timed this a little bit that i have the physical cycle basically here and this is going down really fast but i'm still a little bit scared here because the incoming damage is so huge this is this is scary i have zero points on vitality and i think this is the issue here yeah, i should probably put in some some more points that i have probably like 300 400k more life and then it wouldn't be that scary and yeah but after all this pack dies as well and you see it in the bar it is one of the best rift starts I ever had and right here I'm thinking yeah, I only have to bring it home right the power pylon is still up and we got these constructs or guardians yeah they look like little chairs and 
usually you have the problem you know, that you can't pull them together well, but here they they come together and they die really, really fast. And you see the progress. It is it is phenomenal. And since we killed a few more packs here, the next pylon should come up soon. And we had conduit and we had power so far so there it is the next one is shield so i got super lucky here uh usually you don't get it you don't get that lucky and when i clicked that shrine i was immediately checking for the next pack and also lucky yeah there's not much space you see it on the minimap there was not much space where any other pack could could be hidden yeah and it's crazy yeah and so with this with a shield buff up yeah there's nothing i have to worry about you see the disco mode yeah the lasers just for the video it's 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 quite enjoyable and yeah i checked the mini map here or the, the map yeah we are top i check where i should go and i i'm predicting now that this must go you know that the map continues in the top right corner I don't check the the little room yeah, uh, where it just came from. Uh, there was still a hidden area where it, where it could continue. And you see it, I got into a dead end. And it, this cost me a lot of time. But yeah, since the build is pretty slow. But yeah, what can you do? Yeah, You have these things. And I just keep while winning to keep my Tegok up. Because if it runs out, then yeah, I'm pretty much one shot. So I try to keep everything up, not to die here, and kill a few more trash. And the the progress looks so promising so far, and it's just a matter of one or two packs. But yeah, we will see. <laughs> Sometimes you know you see it already there. These shamans, um, yeah, shamans. This mob type is usually, uh, yeah, it's it's does usually a lot of damage, especially when you have a lot of shamans, but. Yeah, here we have also a few melee mobs, so I have to be a bit careful, but the incoming damage still looks pretty much fine, and I decide to just do this pack here. It's not it's not much trash we have to work with, but yeah, it is what it is. They have molten, so I have to go out there to not be one shot. Now I try to to move this pack with me, but they don't come. They do. they are unimpressed by my ancient spear, and I have to go back. But it's really scary, yeah. When you always when you when you do these 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 few mobs, you know, like there's not much you can work with. And I just I just hope that it dies quick here. I get the Oculus Ring. I try to maximize my damage, and there it dies. And now I move on again. This looks a little bit better here. This is, this is again a small pack of trash. Yeah, this feels way more comfortable. Incoming damage looks fine. Only have to pay attention when these big guys uh, do their whirlwind, and you have to use your your ground slam to interrupt that. Otherwise, they could kill you, yeah, they could do too much damage to survive it. We're at 95%. And here we got another pylon. And it spawns a pack. And I usually wanted to, to kill this pack here, but yeah, the damage will be huge soonish. And yeah, you see it in my health globe. It it went up and down, and I decide to go a little bit further. But there, I add another pack, and then I decide, yeah, this is this is way too risky. So probably I should move on. And it's the end of the floor, so I go to the next floor, and I don't like what I see. <laughs> but uh, I decide to do this blue pack now. I think the better call would have been here to just keep doing trash, eh? white mobs. Because um, yeah, they 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 don't do that much damage. But I don't want to risk to add another pack, you know. And 
you don't know what what's coming in the next room you know and a situation like this could get out of control pretty fast and you see i can i can tank them easily i only have to dodge the charge uh, this is this is this is important if two of them charge you you are just one shot even if one of them charges you they have also molten so i have to dodge this as well so i got one charge i survived it barely um and another one <laughs> And there, dodge it. And the last one dies and the uh, Rift Guardian spawns. And now the embarrassing part starts again. It's always like with a barbarian, you know, that the Rift Guardian is the, is the hardest part in a rift. And Infernal Maiden is pretty tough. And you see it almost one shot. It's it's rough. Yeah, if if she attacks too fast and hits me twice, then I'm dead. I used to resurrect here at the checkpoint uh, to not lose time, but um, yeah, I will die a few more times. But it is what it is. Yeah, as I said, um, I think I need a little bit, a few paragon points in vitality, and then this shouldn't be a big issue. Like toughness is the only issue. Yeah, if I survive this and can just stack my stricken here then it should be way way better now there it is again fortunately i can just rest at the checkpoint <laughs> you haven't seen that oh my goodness yeah this is funny yeah when your character flies through the through the screen and i Probably die again here, but um, yeah, next next round my is my, my breath of the basica is up again, and this should be now. This should be easier now. And you see how fast the Rift Guardian goes down here, and how fast I go down as well. But yeah, damage is absolutely no issue. I should really. Put some points in vitality or probably use crimson set i have seen that in the letter as well it might work as well because i think the main problem here is that i can't keep up my wrath of the berserker huh? so this is this caused me a lot of toughness and uh, but here you see the 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 boss goes down 431 in the letter better than the last time so yeah Hope you enjoyed this and this was Greater Rift 129. So have a nice time. See you. Bye bye.